This is the blog of the christening preparation. My plan was to get up this morning, get ready, get dressed, look fabulous, pick up Auntie Saoirse, me and the baby were going to wear a wee matching outfit and that hasn't happened so it's still currently in my comfy clothes, baby's still in his comfy clothes and Auntie Saoirse is already here because I just picked her up in my PJs and we've had breakfast and she's met the baby and she's very excited and she loves him lots and lots but now we are about to start ballooning ballooning it's not really a word building the balloons for the christening tomorrow but i'm going to show you what saoirse bought the baby Ta -da -da! we have this is mega cute and she didn't even realize how cute it actually was <laughs> we have his very first Christmas decoration. And it says 2019 on it. And of course, it's Dumbo. I think I might get a wee Christmas tree for his own bedroom, you know. Wouldn't that be cute? Solid. A wee tiny one. And, but yes, amazing. And look at this, I need to keep this. See, this is where Jake's like, you can't keep everything, Megan. Mickey Mouse confetti. Oh, I'll be keeping it. Then we have Little Long Sleeves, Marks and Spencer, Bobby Gross. Look. How cute. Can you believe he's going to be this size soon? No. This one's sad. Like, I think, like, next week he'll probably fit him. He's getting so big. And we have bigger size than the amazing Peter Rabbit. Aren't they so nice? Did you see the girl Peter Rabbit ones? Yeah. They have full-on outfits to match the girl oh, ones, but they no, ones. Why is there no boy Peter Rabbit outfits? It's so bad. Do you know, I'm starting a petition against all the shops that like, they do everything for wee girls. Like, we were just saying, they have wee girl Peter Rabbit ones, but then they have like matching wee outfits, but they don't for wee boys. It's so bad. What do they think wee boys wear? Nothing. Like, it's not right. The boys' clothes compared to the girls' clothes in shops is shocking. And then look. Old fashioned Winnie Pooh. Oh. I love this one, the sketch. It's so cute. Have you seen the new Winnie the Pooh movie? No. Christopher Robin. Is it good? <gasps> While you're here, we have to watch yeah. it and I'll put him in a Winnie the Pooh baby girl and I'll have a Winnie Pooh <laughs> <laughs> And then this is the special gift. I'll bring you closer in one second. But like, I'm going to pop it in his nursery. It's a carriage that's like Disney that's for his first tooth and his first curl. How cute is that? I'm going to show you up close. Look! Look how nice it is and it's so shiny. And it's such a nice colour silver too. It's like a whitey silver. Aren't they all so pretty? It's so exciting. He's such a spoiled baby. He's actually the world's most spoiled baby but like I feel like he's meant to be because he's a little hun, isn't he? love him. Jake also has gifts that he's bringing home today um, from people for his Christmas and I'm just so overwhelmed. Like there's people that are buying him presents that have already bought him presents because he was born and I'm like double presents? This is crazy. People are so generous and they must just love him as much as we do. But yes now we're going to start ballooning and obviously you're going to see how much of a disaster that is. Let me show you what they're meant to look like. I don't know if we'll be able to do this, but we're going to give it a good go, aren't we? I think we're going to be able to do it. You, you're positive? Yeah. yeah. Right, so this is what we're hoping it's going to look like. Fingers crossed it does. You'll obviously see the results. And then we need to figure out how we're getting it to the venue. Jake was like, what, you just expect me to walk it? I was like, well, I thought we could put it on the roof of the car. And he was like, can you not do it in sections? And I was like, no, because you obviously do one balloon and stick and then you stick all the balloons so you don't know where to stop and start. We're kind of leaving that plan for Jake. <laughs> like, he'll work that one out. We're going to build it and it'll probably go here. And I thought for the christening tomorrow, it could be used as um, for people to take pictures by. Or like a wee selfie wall. Yes. So that's what we are up to. Oh, so baby M is still in his little PJs, sleeping away. Little snoozer. Figured out very quickly that we don't actually need helium 
we needed a pump so I had to nip and get pumps so now we this is going to take so much longer than I originally thought what a mesh so glad you're here to help <laughs> this will take forever mesh. forever Spoon making going, Sersha? Um, it's gone. We don't. We, we still don't know how we're going to get it to the actual venue, but there's no way we could have done that at the place. We're just going to leave it for Jake. To yeah, Jake can figure this one out. He's going to come home and be like, "Girls, how do you expect me to take this there?" We're very proud. Are you are you ready? One, two, three. Da -da -da! Like it doesn't look like much it well no, it looks pretty good, but obviously it's not gonna be sitting like that. We're gonna like put it up straight. Yeah. And it's gonna look amazing. Our fingers are raw <laughs> from tying the balloons. <laughs> We're back from picking up the cake. Didn't bring you along with us because it was like a bit of a mess, like the cake lady was closing, Milano was like wanting some booby, and it was like, ah, so I didn't bring you along with us, but I will show you the cake. Saoirse has gone now to meet her sister for dinner, because her sister lives here, and then she's coming back here this evening, so then we can all prepare um, tomorrow in the venue, so we're all together, like team. And obviously the balloons just have to chill here, they look hilarious, they're taking up my whole house. But the cake is amazing. Look at that. I am literally so excited for it. And look at its wee blanket. And Glammy bought him a blanket like that for tomorrow. So it's just very, very exciting. And they match the balloons so well. Look at my theme. Please ignore the baby wipes, but yes. So nice, so excited. Are you excited for tomorrow? Are you? Look how big you've got. You're gorgeous. And prep is continuing. Right, because <laughs> it's so warm, we're still in summer. The in cake summer. It's starting to, to sink. Yeah, but we got it in time. It yeah, hasn't so actually. put it now underneath the air conditioning. Yeah. Because Val said we can't put it in the fridge. Because it'll go too dry. It'll go too dry. So I feel like this is a good spot for it. Yep. We've had to move the sofa out of the way so that dogs don't jump up and eat it. Because Gabbana, like, that would be her dream. Yep. And I had to move the balloon arch over here. Which is hilarious. I'm going to put some footage of how you got out of it, like, right now. No, I was like moving it, I was just going to move it, but it was very difficult, so then Megan just whipped out a phone and started recording me. It was Quite hilarious. Funny. So our balloon arch is fab. Are you proud of the balloon arch that it's me and Sarah should done? You put an M in it and everything. I know. What's the M for? Milano. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Are we getting this to the venue? Well, it's going to have to go on the roof of the on car. On the roof of the car. How exciting. Sarah's just going to hold one end and I'm going to hold the other. We have completed all our tasks. I am fake tanned, so I look fabulous again. Not, I look so funny until I rinse it off. I have cleaned the pram. Jake has done the balloons. Saoirse's come home and sorted out her outfit. Baby's been bathed, smells amazing. He's now sleeping. And all we got to do now is get ready in the morning. So yes, we shall see you on the other side. Don't forget to like, subscribe and watch our next video so you can actually see what happened at the christening.